All right, there's a tunnel, and I'm going in, and there's a creepy thing on top of it, and that I'm not sure about, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, let's go in. Missouri. This is the halfway point between St. Louis and Kansas City. And we drove from St. Louis uh, here to Boonville this morning. But here there's a, a lookout over the Missouri River. So you can see the Missouri River. It is flowing from west to east. And this is where Lewis and Clark would have stopped uh, and uh, celebrated their halfway point to Kansas City. So right now, we're in Atchison, Kansas. And we're walking around. There's a bunch of cool stores and stuff. And then there's Gideon. There's a bunch of like old buildings. But yeah, there's just a bunch of like stores. And the best part is look above me. There's ceilings, so we're not in the sun. It's awesome. And then there's this like spinny thing. But yeah, so we're just walking around right now and exploring, which I really like to do. We're totally roughing it. We're like, like Lewis and Clark. We're walking in the hot sun. Yeah. Sunday morning and we stopped at a park in downtown uh, Kansas City. Uh, there's This is called Clark's Point. Uh, it overlooks the Missouri River. We're up on a big bluff and it's just south of the point where the Kansas uh, River would flow into the Missouri River. So Lewis and Clark would have stopped here and camped and uh, the, the, the record has them standing on this very spot. It's a beautiful view. If you're ever in uh, Kansas City, you need to come and, and see this park in downtown Kansas City.
So we just finished dinner at Tin Kitchen in Weston, Missouri. We are about uh, 45 minutes or an hour north of Kansas City, Missouri. Trisha, what did you think of the food? It was excellent. It was great atmosphere. The food was wonderful. We'd, we'd come back. So you, what did you have? The I had the Carolina pulled pork sandwich. And I had a little mixture of um, brisket as well as the ribs. Very good. Atmosphere, wonderful food, delicious. If you're in the Missouri area, north of Kansas City, stop at Tin Kitchen. Preserved as an oxbow lake called Bean Lake. Before starting the day's journey, the expedition celebrated the 28th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence by firing the kill boat's swivel gun, perhaps the first recorded observance of the 4th of July in the Louisiana Purchase. Missouri River Basin Lewis and Clark Visitor Center and this has been a fun trip I think mostly because it's very kid oriented and kid friendly right sir yeah it's like hands-on like there's flaps you can lift up and there is this weird like thing you could stick your hand into it's weird but cool. for mosquitoes yeah for mosquitoes like stick your hand into it. it's like seeing how daring you are but they kind of have something similar to maybe the Junior Ranger at the National Parks where you have something you can go around, you punch holes in it, punch stamps in it, and then they give you the piece metal seal in the middle after you've gotten all the hole punches. So there's keel boat to look at, there's, um, there's a video game where you can pretend like you're steering the keel, keel boat and get to experience that a little bit. <laughs> and a bunch of hands-on activities. It's super fun. There's like this thing that you can lift up and smell. We will now insert a clip of Dad smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was awesome. But yeah, it was just really fun. I like the, um, they had like a big picture on the wall that you could spot things. And right now we're in the boat outside, which is really cool. It's probably my favorite part. And I really like the back room that that is like, it's really short and like hardest to get into. What I like about it is it's made for kids and Lewis and Clark and their crew, but mostly kids.
say slow and dramatic. Daddy. <laughs> what? That was not me. 